<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Black Girl Nerds Talk. I am Shanae. And I'm Liz the Movie Girl. And today we're going to talk about Suicide Squad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just saw this, like literally a f- an hour ago, so it's very fresh. This is what I always do. I procrastinate for these episodes. <laughs> I like, watch them right before. Last minute, I'm because, like weeks ahead. I'm like, yeah. okay. So when are you watching this? Yeah, I'm like, mm, I'll probably watch it today. The day of. <laughs> okay, so, make sure there's no lipstick on my teeth. No. Okay, um, so we're going to talk about this. Who wants to start in Suicide Squad? I guess we should first set it up by saying that um, this this movie has terrible reviews. Horrible. They're just uh, terrible reviews. And so I guess this will sort of talk about whether or not we agree with them or we not. I guess I'm just going to start. I am confused because I thought that was really fun. Like, it wasn't perfect, but I was reading reviews which it was like, it's worse than Fantastic Four and nothing's worse than Fantastic Four. That's that's just mean. And that it was a mess. It was this, it was that. And I kept waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like, were you watching it too? I was just like, okay. That's exactly what happened to me last. I saw this last night. Right. And I was watching it. I'm like, okay, what am I going to be upset like? and like completely offended? Uh, yeah. Like, like it had a good opening. It was very, yeah. I felt like it gave good introductions of the characters. I was into it. I really I, dug it. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know if, cause I'll just be honest and say like, I overall thought it was pretty good. Like, yeah. I, me too. I, I thought it was fun. Um, yeah, fun. I like the. I felt maybe it's because I don't know too much about these characters. I kind of went into this movie in a similar place I was with Guardians of, of the Galaxy. Right. I mean, that's what I, it reminded me of, which is why yeah. I'm so shocked that. Yeah. I so I didn't know too much about the characters. I kind of knew basics of what they all should be like. Yeah. You know some more than others like I had an idea of what I, I would perceive Amanda Waller to be like right. Deadshot I knew a little bit about Harley Quinn of course like there was an expectation I had for that character right. but for the most part a lot of these characters were blank slates for me so I just was like okay what like what don't people like about this movie because it just seemed like a very like I mean it was a basic superhero movie it was right. I don't I don't I don't know like I thought about it the whole time I was like because am I crazy I, I, mean, it has know. This, I know it's like well it has the same like it reminds me of Gardens of the Galaxy in that it has the same problems that Gardens in the Galaxy like literally they're like identical in that like the villain's not that great and like stuff like that like and then it's like uh, like like there's things in it and then also it like addressed all of the concerns that people have about DC movies. So I'm really, I like I don't I don't know what to say. Like it's very interesting because I had read like two reviews before I went in. And... I... Go ahead. Sorry, you off. But I'm yeah. just like if okay. So this one it had more comedy in yeah. it. It had less a less. It was a very basic storyline. So it was a yeah, less. Yeah, very very straightforward. Very... Yeah. Just like a day following them in their first mission. That's that's it. Yeah. And this is a spoiler review. Of the spoilers, 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 spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so I just I don't know. Like maybe because the reviews were bad, I went in with less expectation so I just like gave it more of a chance but I mean I try to be pretty objective no matter what movie I'm watching and if it's trash it's trash and it's not the most amazing film in the history of the world like I'm not saying that but it wasn't horrible and it was definitely better than Batman v Superman like oh my god like a hundred times better and people were saying that that it was better than it was worse than that I'm just like there's ridiculous are you watching one thing I did think a lot about and I know Zack Snyder didn't direct the movie, but it did make me think a lot about Sucker Punch. I know we mentioned Sucker Punch. Maybe that's what happened to us. Because we love Sucker Punch. We like Sucker Punch, and it always comes back to that. Because I will say I am giving this movie a fun 
point of view because it just gives me something visually where I could kind of just take it in and have fun and just follow along and just like really go with just, you know, whatever they're throwing at me. Like, I don't know. I just didn't come into Suicide Squad with like feeling like I was going to get this deep, gritty story. Like I didn't get that from the trailers. I didn't get that from like the premise of what it is. I kind of got more of like this kind of jokey, like misfit Guardians of the Galaxy esque right, right, right. type thing. Yeah. So what y'all? What do y'all want from this movie? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's so weird because I, I talk. Know. I talked to one of my guy friends, and he was like, "Do you believe in the DC conspiracy now?" And I was like, "Kind of, honestly, kind of, kind of," because like it doesn't make sense because like it's interesting, right? Because this movie is maybe at the very least probably a b minus b minus to b movie but if you read these reviews it's like the worst thing that's come out this year and just from like the way that it's made and the character performances alone make it not worth all of the hate it got like harley quinn and all that stuff and i just am sort of I don't know if there's a, exactly a DC conspiracy, but I definitely feel like that it seems like, based off of this, I mean, Batman v Superman, that's not a good argument to make about that. But it seems like for this, um, that like all of the reviews were so negative um, and everybody I've talked to has liked it. Like everybody who has seen it has liked it. Like I had two friends who went last night and then I had a friend who went earlier today and she's like, it was great. So I don't understand like what happened. Actually, a lot of like what I saw on Twitter and just some people that I chatted with, they didn't like it. Really? Everybody yeah. I talked to liked it. Oh, no. So, um, and I'm just, I'm seeing, like, I'm, I more so saw people who liked it after I, like, I saw it, and I went on Twitter, I'm like, right. okay, there's some who did like this movie, but I don't know, like, there's, yeah. it's, I guess we can talk about what we did and did yeah. and didn't. Yeah, <laughs> we'll just get away from the conspiracy part of it. Yeah. Um, so, I'll start with what I liked. I really liked the characters, um, I'm a huge Harley, like, I'm a huge Batman, um, original series, um, person uh the animated yeah. series if you guys haven't seen it you should see it it's amazing it's the best cartoon ever um and um, it really is. so harley <laughs> quinn is amazing like she's not from the comics i don't know if people know that but she's not from the comics she's from the cartoon um and so most people who know her are people who have watched the cartoons and i thought margot robbie was really good as harley quinn like i thought that i was worried about the accent and the voice and i thought that she like embodied it really perfectly and I also really liked Jared Leto's Joker because like I just liked his wardrobe and I just thought it was so funny and he wasn't like like a crazy one he was sort of like a just like a thug like a very much like a, a mobster type moss which he kind of is in the um, animated series as well he's kind of like a mob bossy type person like he's always got those stuff like that so I thought their performances were really good. I thought Will Smith was really great in it. He really like anchored the film. I liked the whole squad. I just thought they really gelled well. They had good chemistry. Um, I liked the action scenes a lot. Those were some of like the best action scenes we've seen this year, I think, as far as like how they moved and like having everybody showcase their abilities. Um, so I think those were the big things I liked were just like the chemistry of the cast. I loved the beginning of the movie, like the first 30 minutes. I was like, this is awesome. What is everybody talking about? <laughs> um, and like the way they introduced them. I know a lot of people have problems with the music. I thought the music was funny and fun and felt like Suicide Squad. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, I just really, I, again, like I overall liked the film a lot. And I think it's definitely um, a good film. Like, And I was comparing it to Star Trek, which we saw last week or, or the week before last. And I think what's interesting about Star Trek, which is a much better rated movie, and it, it is better quality, but there's nothing, like I don't remember anything that happened in Star Trek now. Like, do you remember? any like, scenes like I don't remember anything I can't call upon any sequences I the fight. I, yeah yeah there's nothing I remember and I feel like the good thing about Suicide Squad is that there are like specific scenes you can call upon and be like oh that was like so funny or that was cool or like that was really interesting which is yeah. what I really liked like there was very good um set pieces that made for a more memorable experience than a movie that's just good where it just feels like you're going along for the ride like Star Trek but you don't really remember what happened so those are my thoughts yeah I'd probably echo a lot of the stuff that you said I love the beginning of the movie I thought that was a really good tone setter yeah. when I first 
about this film, I was worried. Two things made me worried. Um, uh, but one thing was Will Smith being cast. I just yeah. was worried, like, it's good. He's going to overtake the movie. He's going to Will Smith it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he was one of the good, really good things about the movie for me. Yeah. Uh, he was great as Deadshot. So that was awesome. I liked Margot Robbie um, as Harley Quinn. She's actually part of my dislikes as well, and I'll get into that later. Uh, yeah. But I thought she was great. I felt like her accent went off a little That's bit. That's true, it went on and off. But, yeah, I think but, she was trying to decide. She, yeah. But she was, she was a perfect, pretty perfect cast yeah. thing for uh, Harley Quinn. Uh, I, I thought the action scenes were great. I really liked the visuals that we were getting in this film and I felt like I can really remember like you said certain scenes like there's right. parts like well, the Will Smith scene that was like oh yeah know, so good <laughs> it was really good and uh, the part, there's a beginning scene with him and a special character I don't know if we want to spoil it but yeah. that was really good yeah. so I, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed the act action that I saw I enjoyed the visuals I felt like it was different it was doing something a little different um I do think it kind of does something pretty typical at the end with the story but yeah. throughout it was doing something different and I liked that um uh, yeah I I had a good time I don't know I don't it's know it's so it's the film. strangest thing I've ever it's, it's so strange yeah I, I don't know I don't know. Um, I also really liked. Um, I liked Viola Davis as Amanda Waller. She was everything. She was her movie. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> so perfect. Like I'm just like, yes, this is just. I just need. I need her just pop up in every. every I know movie. exactly. Like she, it was her movie. Like she really owned. Yeah, it. Yeah, like she right. was just. Yeah, that that was. She was amazing. Um, and she's so unapologetic about it because you expect um, usually when they get characters like that, especially black women characters, they try to like, like smooth them out somewhere. Like they give them a kid, or they give them this, or they give them that to like make them. And they're like, nope, this is just who she is, and she's a boss, and everybody has to deal with it. Like I loved it. I loved that. Like that's exactly how she should be too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't give her anything to like soften her up. So I liked that. So I guess Even we'll go to. I feel like with Will Smith, they did soften him up. Oh too. yeah. Uh, like you couldn't. You well, I'm couldn't sure just, Will Smith yeah. wasn't gonna let him. They weren't gonna. Well, yeah. he still has to be Will Smith in every movie, even if he's not Will Smith. So, um, yeah. I don't know. It's definitely more edge, but I'm just like, mm, you could have pushed that a little bit more. I know but... he totally. Did. <laughs> totally did. Okay, so but I guess yeah. we're gonna go talk about like the stuff we didn't like. Yeah. Do you want to start? Mm -hmm. So I felt that Harley Quinn was well cast but just over sexualized and That's for true, yeah. uh, kind of in an unnecessary way yeah just some of the scenes i'm like really guys yeah, like that's a good point yeah mm, <laughs> really didn't, i didn't like that um i didn't think the writing was very good even though i liked the movie i didn't think the okay. writing was good okay. especially for like the different characters like i don't know who wrote this one um, did David is David Ayers? Yes, and I right. think he's comedy is definitely not his strength. That's for sure. <laughs> also, I just felt like his the way he wrote his characters were very stereotypical. Like there's yeah. that one. There's like I just I don't know. Like you don't I don't know. You're just I just I don't. Some of the some of the writing just felt a really lot of the lines didn't land. Like most of the it jokes did not land that people would actually say. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Especially it's like a comic that, book. Yeah, it just sounded very weird. So I didn't really like that. Um, the, the end was like, what is going on? <laughs> like, the whole villain thing was just like... I know. They should have just ended it with Amanda, like them rescuing Amanda or something. I don't know. Something. I don't know what they should have done. That was dumb. But I was still like this. But I know. I was just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the actor who played Rick Flagg, I am not a fan of that actor. They keep, trying to so make that, dry. They, they keep trying to make that guy happen. I don't understand why they keep trying to make him happen. <laughs> and that they're trying to make happen, and he's one of them. He was in RoboCop. He was in other movies that just, like, stop. Like, he's just not, not good. I just, this is how I feel. I didn't like it. I didn't like him. I felt like he just sucked the energy out of the movie every, every time, time he was, he was on. on. It was just like, he like, didn't. Yeah. He added to the chemistry of the group. If they replaced him in another movie, I probably wouldn't even notice. I don't know why they keep making that guy try to happen. Like, what do people love about him? I don't, I don't know. Like, I really <laughs> don't know. But yeah, I, um, that was that was pretty much it. Over sexualized. Um, what did you think about Joker? I thought it was it was okay. Like, I didn't really because I felt like he was more of like a cameo character. He was yeah. kind of someone they yeah. were just kind of putting in there. Mm -hmm. I thought I thought it was. 
okay. I got a lot of Jack Nicholson vibes from him, which mm. I liked that. Yeah. Um, maybe that's wrong, but I kind of, I don't that's the vibe I got. Right. Uh, yeah, he was cool. I, I liked I liked them together. I really loved. There's a scene where you see them in like kind of the, the costumes. Yeah, from, like, that was awesome. <laughs> I was <just> like, <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, I was I was cool with that. I liked I liked Jared Leto's take on it. So yeah, I thought it was yeah. I definitely yeah yeah. It was different. I'm glad he wasn't doing an imitation of other. He was doing his own thing, and mm-hmm. I was cool with it. Yeah, I I definitely agree with all of your points. I. I made a note of the over-sexualization and I um, forgot to mention that, but I totally agree. I thought there was just like some scenes that sort of took away from her power a little bit and it seemed a little bit too fan service to sort of like undermine her because like she's really, what I found interesting about the way they drew her characters, like she's like one of the best, she is basically the best fighter other than like Deadshot as far as being effective and like hand to hand and her gun and like I just thought she was very powerful and then apologetic and it seemed like every time she did something powerful they tried to like undercut it with something like really sexy and I was like just let it, just let it be, just let her be in her power. It goes back to the writing in that every time a woman would do something, there was some type of really misogynistic thing that a guy would say yeah. to really Yeah, or do something. Yeah. It bad this movie. Yeah. Um, like, there was this woman, like, hit, and it was like, she had a knob on her. I'm like, who wrote this shit? There's, like, there's a couple of woman pushing, yeah. punching jokes in this film. Like, that's what I was going to say next. It's really weird. There's, like, three of them. Three incidents. <laughs> I think one time Will Smith is, like, you like spank her ass and tell her to stop that and then like one and then the guy like spanks the girlfriend's butt and like yeah and it was really crazy because some the women characters which was a good thing were some of the more powerful characters more they had so much agency yeah power but but there was a lot of undercutting of that power with the writing so i did not like that (laughs) at all it was it was just weird it was like why would you so why why the choice wasn't a good choice yeah it definitely wasn't a good choice that was weird like i noticed that i was like why are there so many women punching jokes in this film <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. anyway yeah nah. so i agree um my thing was i thought again like i mean for me i'm one of the people who just thinks that like most of these superhero movies don't have good stories so i feel like it's just like par for the course um it's just like the movies it's just i think like especially the Thor movies especially have like real story problems it's just like and and they just are sort of dressed up by characters and like more fun and the problem with the DC movies is that I think they're not as fun so it's easier to see the story issues that's like my big theory on why this happens um so for me I didn't notice it I thought that the story was kind of dumb and like the the script was kind of dumb but I like didn't care because I was like having so much fun watching the characters you know so it was it was it wasn't boring no and it was never boring like there was never like a lull it seemed like it was like bang 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 i think i saw some criticisms that said that the scenes didn't seem to have like meaning and i don't agree with that i feel like there's maybe like one or two scenes that were not supposed to be there um but i felt like generally it flowed really well i liked the flashback it was like good setup like if you compare it to a movie like um the amazing spider-man 2 which was meant to be sort of like a team up setup movie this sort of does it in a much cleaner way of like showing the background sort of playing up the comic bookness of it so i don't don't know what people are talking about but yeah i mean those are the only things i had like i said the story is not great um the script's not great but i don't i'm not trying to give it a pass but it's just like fun it was fun fun. like it's supposed to be it's like a summer movie it's not an oscar contender like i don't understand like what and maybe because dc has such a high caliber because of the dark knight people have such high expectations maybe it is but can, can someone honestly tell me if this was a Marvel movie and they dressed it up in the Marvel dressing, but basically, I don't know, even if it was just a straight Marvel movie and this was just Marvel, I don't know if people would have disliked this movie as much. I don't. Oh, absolutely. Like, I think, I don't know. I think, I mean, maybe it was maybe a couple reviews came in and then a lot of people were thinking, okay, I wasn't going to go so hard on it, but I don't want to be on the wrong side of this, so I'm going to go hard like everyone else. Like, I think that had to have what happened. I think there had to have been some, like, sheet mentality here because there's no reason why this 
movie has such a bad review. It just seems like they wanted to sort of create a narrative around this film and people like the DC hate on narrative a lot. Like, I don't, um, I, I honestly don't understand it. But it's true. Like, if this was a Marvel movie, it it would not have gotten reviews like this at all. Because like, we have so many Marvel movies that are exactly like this. They don't have great stories, but the characters are cool, so we give them a pass. Like, Iron Man 2, all the Thor movies. Like, like the first, you know what I mean? Like, there's just like... Like, this was a fun movie. Yes, there were definitely some story issues, and there's definitely Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron. I mean, I don't think we never posted our um, black, um, sorry, Batman v Superman review, but I just think it's just it kind of we kind of said a lot of a lot of the same things, and just how people just automatically hated the movie, and we didn't like the movie either. No, um, say that, but it just was like the hate was just so fierce, and I was like, no, it's not that deep. It's really not. It's not that. Hardcore, like it's not that bad of a like. I went into Batman v Superman expecting it to be like a garbage pale food, and it wasn't great. But it wasn't like I don't know. It's it's very weird. Yeah, so very weird. I don't know. Like I'm just gonna tell everybody to watch it and just be like, just watch it. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Just... Like again, every time we do one of these, I'm like, maybe we're out of our minds. <laughs> maybe we're just crazy. Yeah. And we don't, I don't, maybe we're not seeing what everyone else is. I don't know. I'm curious to see what you guys think. And I mean, I honestly think that, do you think that this is going to be the movie that really, like, because people are going to see it. And I feel like we're not the only ones who are going to be, because like everybody in my theater loved it. They were like clapping and laughing and like having the best time. And I saw it at like one o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm like curious to see like what everybody else thinks. And if everybody else thinks it's positive, if it's going to really sort of make a change and sort of like how this stuff gets approached because like I just feel like I'm with everybody I sort of like want to hook up my pitchfork and be like okay enough's enough you know what I mean like you know I want to use this for like and I, and I will sit here and say again I'm a Marvel fangirl right, no, right. Marvel fan. <laughs> still like that's, that's these so reviews come on yeah, yeah. like what Tell us in the comments, like what for people who didn't like the film and have seen it, what are we missing that yeah. is so Yeah. We bring her up a lot on the show, but Grace hated the movie as well. Um yeah. so from um whatever her channel is. Um she hated Watch it. Her. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I watched it again and I was like I don't know what Grace is thinking half the time. Like she's on her own <laughs> she's on her own, like <laughs> her own field. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna watch them, girl. But mm -mm. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I still, I still love you, Grace. But like sometimes I'm just like, where is, where is Grace's head at? So like, um, and I watched a bunch of like uh, a couple other people. I think liked it. A lot of non-reviewing channels that I watched watched it and were like, it's great. So I'm not sure what we're missing. So I watched part of Black Nerd, Nerd Comedy's review. Uh -huh. So I his review, but he basically said it was, you know, a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> so. Got his review too. So hopefully we'll all like rise up and this movie will do great even though the reviews are bad. Hopefully. Like I hope it's not a Ghostbuster situation where well Ghostbusters had good reviews. What movie um was killed by reviews? I guess just Batman v Superman, but that was kind of deserved. It was, but it made eight hundred million dollars or whatever. Yeah. Like that's like a movie I don't know. <laughs> like yeah, we're dead. <laughs> um yeah, so I think it'll be fine. Like I think um I think hopefully like there's enough of a good buzz around it to where it'll make really good money and I love I love David Ayer like if you haven't seen End of Watch have you seen End of Watch oh my god see it End of Watch and Fury he those are two movies that he did there um I think those are David Ayer movies let me know if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure End of Watch and Fury are David Ayer movies um and they're both really really good um so I think he's a great director and I want him to get another shot so I hope this is I mean Zack Snyder keeps getting chances so hopefully <laughs> he'll be fine get chances it's because of they Sucker Punch best movie of all time <laughs> We know this is not for you guys, but we still I know, it's like our own little should, thing. We should have like a movie day where we watch We should. Sucker we should do like a live watching of Sucker Punch. It's so amazing. Well, I continue to defend this movie. I know. To, I always do. I'm just like, but Sucker Punch, he created Sucker Punch. How bad can he be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, overall, we liked it. Yeah, it we was liked fine. It. It's Thumbs perfectly up. good time at yeah. the theater. Go see it. Definitely go see it with a big group on like a. Yeah, and then tell us about it. Yeah, let us know what you think. Maybe we are crazy. Yeah. 
Zack Snyder has gotten in our heads. Because no. our love of sucker punch. <laughs> okay, well, that's it, guys. Let us know what you think about the movie, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>